Too low to the mall. Put a couple cabos and a hundred fucking dimes. Call a slaughter gang, you get your shit popped. Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna share with you five ways to grow your clientele. Before getting into this video, do me the biggest favor and subscribe to my channel because it does help me to grow here on YouTube. All right, how to gain more clients. I do have my notes here, so you will see me looking down. So don't wonder, like, what am I looking down at? Tip number one, create a deal slash sale that people just cannot resist. I remember when I took a break from braiding and decided to start back. I hopped on Facebook, created a post using an old photo of one of my work. With that photo, I typed in half head braided bob for only $90 for the first six customers. To book, you must pay a deposit of $40. Now, when I did that, um, within three weeks, within three weeks, I gained every last single one of those six customers and not only that because of that deal that I made I had other people you know contacting me trying to catch it and they either paid the full price or they was like uh, I'll just wait to catch another deal or eh, this just wasn't for me tip number two what if you have no photos of your work what if you have nothing to share because you know you're just now you're this you're because you're just starting out well Use a family member, a cousin, sister, auntie, you know, somebody that you know that would let you do whatever it is, you know, for you to create a style, you know, for you to post. Because you you need to build a portfolio for yourself. And that's, that's how I gained so much clientele. I had a portfolio. Every time I did something, I took pictures of it. Tip number three, create ads on Craigslist, keeping your price very low. Because the key here is to bring in clientele. I remember back in 2015, I wanted to branch out and start doing sew-ins instead of braids. So I created an ad promoting my sew-ins for $35. Bruh. Yeah, $35. It was really cheap, but guess what? I had a room full of people. But the next day I created, because I gained that much clients, the next day I decided to create another post using new photos of those people from the previous day and I upped my price. I upped it to $55 and from there it went up to $65. You know, I just kept rising Bruh. the price because the key here, the goal, is to bring in clientele to get yourself out there. Tip number four, have bigger influencers promote your work for you. Find people on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter that have a lot of followers to promote your work. I've used Beauty Can Braid. She charges $50. And I've also used... Um, I used black hair underscore flare and I think um, she charges between $25 $30 and that's not bad you know to get your work out there tip number five keep creating new photos of your work and keep yourself relevant on social media you want to post and upload consistently the key here is having as many clients as you can walking around with your work. That's the best promotion that you can have. When clients would come back to me, they would always share with me how somebody chased them down to find out who did who braided their hair. That's why it's okay to like really lower your price or do your cousin's hair for free or your neighbor's hair for free or whoever you know you can get in just get them in because you want them walking around with your work so that they can promote it and bring new customers into you let me know in the comment section what struggles you have when it comes to bringing in clientele if this video was helpful to you be sure to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any updates